moving beyond the gender binary is not about erasing your right to be a man or a woman. Rather, it's about saying that man and woman are two of infinite options. If you just see another trans person doing something that you didn't know was possible for you, it unlocks potential for you. And it really does make a big difference for trans people to be in the room when these policies are being discussed. You know, one of the things that I think that folks don't recognize about trans folks is that we have a true asset having lived multiple lived experiences. Mm -hmm. We all have this assumption that we know what a trans person would look like, but honestly, we don't. I don't look like you, you don't look like me, and I obviously don't look like any other trans person. There are times when, when you're too trans and times when you're not trans enough. Um, but mm. for me personally, I'll just say that I don't run away from the fact that I'm trans. I'm just always thinking about community when, um, especially when, when there's a, um, a systemic shift of some sort, because, you know, our community is the last to be um, sought out for and to, to, the last to be looked after. My favorite quote from Marsha is, you know, I might be crazy, but that don't make me wrong. And I think <laughs> the world that's consistently telling Black trans people that we're wrong about everything, that we're wrong for wanting more for ourselves, that we're wrong for wanting more for our communities, that is a relatable thing that we wish we had the freedom to just exist in like Marsha did. You know, as far as my trans community or anyone who falls under the umbrella of trans, I want them to feel hope. I want them to feel purpose. I want them to feel royal and being invited into that moment.